Okay. Uh, can you hear me, Vankar? Uh, Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Hello. 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 Yeah, okay. Uh, so you just wanted me to explain uh, bank nifty. So we have got this uh, Okay. Now uh, you can see this, it was a gap up open yesterday. So whenever there is a gap up open, you just wait uh, till one of two candles and then see what is the reaction and then you take the call always. So this is 13th, that was yesterday. So 920 candle, you can just see that it just twice like that and then it gave an uh, by call after two candles. This is a sort of a confirmation. So what you do is you just check your 13 minutes chart. In 13 minutes chart, yesterday you can see that here it was a gap up, and you can see this. Uh, it was uh, flat. I mean, in 13 minutes, the, this is a bit tricky. Now, there is one way of surely finding out whether this trend is uh, bullish or not. See, whenever your uh, trades are bullish, your dots here will turn into green. So, that is the idea. So, 10.30, it changed uh, green. So, you can comfortably, uh, you could have taken that bank nifty call. You can see it here very clearly. So 940, uh, we have got the call. You can see 920, though the candle was red, you can see the green dot formation here. But this is basically your uh, stochastic lines, overbought and oversold lines. So it is below 20%, we have got this green dot. So if you could have taken the call here, I mean, uh, since I observe it very keenly, I will take the call here on this candle. That is the 9.30 candle. But my confirmation in case if you are very new to this, what you do is you wait till uh, you get the buy signal, then only you take the call. Now you have taken the signal here, let's say. You put your trailing stop loss. Now this red line what you are seeing is the trailing stop loss line. It keeps on changing. So yesterday's 9.40 call is still uh, going on. Now you can see R1 levels and R2 levels. This R1 and R2 levels are very crucial levels. 
you can see that here it arc is exactly it will hit there and then it came down so today again this was closing of bank nifty yesterday it will exactly hit you there you can see that i have uh, enlarged it you can see that hair of the candle it just will touch and come so whenever you put a stop loss also you should be very careful for everyone knows this r1 and r2 and s1 and s2 levels so always put your stop loss slightly above that because everyone will think of selling here so if you just put it above that then you are not affected he won't he won't touch you because you can see the support here this is the resistance 1097 So at the seven, six, seven points, you can easily put back nifty. That is how you trade. That is how people will fool you also. And you can see that R1 and R2 levels. R1 and R2 levels, it it will exactly come and sit on that, and then it will go. That is one reason why uh, most of this uh, traders who are regular traders, you know, intraday. Uh, Traders, they follow this. So now, ten uh, minutes and thirty minutes. Thirty minutes, we have a confirmation, and it's going to come back to this R2 level, double one zero eight nine. It's a crucial level. You can just see that it has this candle has touched that. so that is one way of identifying and you can put your target at 11091 it is a r1 and the next level will be 11203 this is for long term trades so in case you are doing intraday you just follow 10 minutes now it's already uh, touched r2 yesterday that is uh, yesterday's close Now it again not try and go reach there. Just a second, I'll be back. Okay, and uh, I'll tell you something about uh, even the stop loss also. This uh, stop loss, what you are seeing, the red line, it will uh, hold good uh, for a person who has a uh, huge capital. So usually, what uh, you 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 should be doing is now it is trading at eleven zero six five. So you can see which is the uh, recent low, the recent low or the R one R two levels. now you can uh, instead of following this red stop loss line you try to put the stop loss slightly below r1 so that will give you something like uh, 20 30 points and then you keep on trailing it once the candle closes then you see which is the recent low and then put it there so you can keep on trailing anyway we are changing the stop loss line also 
so that uh, you can comfortably put the stop loss, not uh, this big gaps. So that is about Bank Nifty. We have got a sell call yesterday here. So you will have to check the volumes also. Whenever there is no volumes, the trades will be flat. There won't be much of momentum. Now you can see that uh, the volumes here are building up actually. So morning you could have continued with this call. So you do have started somewhere here 920. Now you are uh, definitely in profits. Now don't worry about this red, uh, this one. As soon as uh, you find some red here, then you need to worry actually. You like to keep changing your stop loss. The other uh, thing what you like to be uh, checking always is where is your nifty. So if your nifty is bullish, your bank nifty will be usually bullish. If the banks are supporting. Now how I do this is I keep checking uh, what's happening here. I know that uh, Bank Nifty, uh, then SBI gave me a call here, 1644 was the entry. So SBI was sort of bullish. So I can relate that to the Bank Nifty and say that uh, Bank Nifty also will slightly more. And the other advantage is you can see Bank of Baroda is moving up. This whole pack, Access Bank is green. You can check uh, other banking scripts also. HDFC is green. Though there are no volumes here. You can check no volumes. It will be very flat like this. I say, I say is green. So since the banking pack is strong, the bank nifty will also be uh, in the same lines. Also. So you like to relate that also. If you keep observing uh, uh, keenly, then uh, it will be just matter. You no, know? you can just keep on uh, toggling between different screens and then uh, find out what is the trend. So usually when uh, bank nifty is in the upper uh, side your uh, TCS will be on the low, uh, it will be in the short selling side. Now we have got an TCS sell call here. Yeah, that is a good sell actually. If we get some more volumes, then it uh, will be a good sell. Why I say that is, check on the 13 nets. You can see that there is a clear reversal. It has fallen down so much here. And if you are not comfortable, then don't you don't have to take the call. Once you get the sell call and TCS, then only you can enter. But otherwise, you want to uh, take some risks and trade. You can take calls like this also. It's not a common uh, problem. So your first uh, target will be your PP. And now uh, you can see the stop loss is a recent high. If he has given the stop loss here, you don't have to follow that. You can take this R2 line and slightly above R2, you can change put the stop loss. And you can keep on uh, trailing the stop loss. Now next, in case if it comes down, you just put your trailing stop loss slightly above R1. You can see that here. This is the line 2348. And once it starts coming down uh, much further, then you can uh, keep on trailing the stop loss and then uh, let it hit the stop loss once you make the profits. So that is how uh, you can uh, trade also. And there were some other calls uh, I'll just show you. So when you go to file new alerts, you'll be able to see the alerts, what and all uh, you have got. So we have a cell, we had a cell call in TCS. And Tata Steel, uh, I think uh, it was sort of very flat. So I didn't check that. So you can see that whenever you don't have much of volumes, this is what we get. But overall, you know that the trend is down. Because we started here and then uh, it is coming down. So the overall trend is down. So you don't even have to check 13 minutes. Whenever you get a cell call, blindly take the cell call. So you can